Hello and welcome. My name's Steve Woody and this is the Sunflower Land Getting Started Guide. Now in this video, I'm going to talk you through everything you need to know to understand what is Sunflower Land, how to get started, and then how to really get ahead in the game and navigate the game itself. Now there's a few things we need to know before we actually jump in. And I'm going to start here on the website. This is sunflower-land.com. Now, the website you're looking at will probably change by the time you visit. We are just 11 hours away from public launch. It is the 14th of December, 2022. The public launch is tomorrow, but I wanted to record this video so you kind of had it ready for when the game went goes live. So therefore, when you do come to the website, you will not see the beta is full and you will not see the beta button. You will see mint your farm. You'll click on this button and it will ask you to connect a, a wallet. So that's the first thing that we need to do is you need to have a web free wallet to play this game. Now, there's actually two that we offer. And if I just click on beta right now, just come here, you'll see it says connect your web free wallet to play. Now, there are three options available. We have MetaMask, which is the standard uh, non-custodial web free wallet. We have Wallet Connect, which is a way to connect lots of different other wallets because there's, there's hundreds of different wallets. Or we have one of our preferred partners, which is Sequence. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to use. You create whatever wallet you feel is best. MetaMask is the most common, um, but Sequence is good if you don't want to worry about learning anything to do with Web3 or if you don't want to worry about learning about the technology. So if you just want to get started, you can go across to the Sequence website, which is sequence.app, and you can simply create an account with any of the following logins, your Google, your email, Facebook, Discord, Twitch, or your Apple ID. So if I go ahead here and just click on uh, Google, what that's going to do is it's going to ask me to log in. Now I'm just going to go across to a different window and authorize that so that I'm not doing it on the, uh, the, the, the website that I'm, I'm sharing a screen on. So I've just logged in via my Google account, and now it's signing me in. So it says it might take a minute to do this. The first time you create your account, what this is doing is it's creating you a web free wallet that is then connected to your email address. Now, that's great. It's nice and easy. It's very simple. But if you have a problem with your email address, if your email address gets hacked or you lose access to it, then you're going to have trouble connecting to your wallet. So Always be aware that if you're using a hot wallet, this is known as a, a hot wallet, that you, you have to consider security and safety. But we're going to go ahead uh, and, and just trust Sequence because we, we know the company. We, we recommend them because we've, we've partnered with them for this reason, uh, that they make life very easy for us. So the first thing we need to do is actually add some funds into the account. So we can click on add funds because there would be nothing here. And we'd need to actually buy some USDC, which is our currency we're going to buy. So uh, we can choose any of these payment providers to be able to do that. And we can buy our USDC. Once we've done that and we have that in our account, we can then swap. So we can swap that. And in fact, I'm going to do that right now. So I've actually got some SFL, but I'm going to swap it for USDC. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to swap everything I've got at the moment. Just for my SFL, I'm going to swap it across into USDC. Okay, so this is what happens. So it looks like this. I confirm this and it's done. Now, now that that transaction's complete, I'm going to imagine that you're just here for the first time and you don't have any SFL. You don't even know what SFL is. And so if that's the case, what that means, I'm just going to refresh my wallet. So we're kind of here now. So I've just logged in to my sequence wallet and I have added my funds. I've got my USDC. Great. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to mint a farm. So to mint is to create and it's the first thing you will need to do. So you'll come across to your website 
and you will mint your farm. Now, you will select sequence to connect. It will then connect to your wallet. It will make sure you have enough funds and it will then mint your farm, which costs $5. But you'll need this in Matic. So what you will do is you will swap your USDC. So you click on swap. We'll just go back here. Click on swap from USDC to Matic. Okay, and you'll need to do $5. Now, I don't have enough funds here, but that's what you'll need to do to get that amount of Matic. You'll probably need a little bit more. I'd recommend, I'd recommend doing about $6 if you can, um, just to get yourself started. If you, if you wanted to go to 10 even better, you've got some spare, but you'll need some to get started. And I recommend, the minimum I recommend is really $10. Um, but you can get away with anything between 6 to 10. Okay, so let's just say we've done that. We've uh, we've got our Matic. We go back to the website and it will let us mint our farm. Okay, so we'll then, once we've done that, we'll have our farm, our NFT, in our wallet. So let's just close down sequence. We're actually not going to use sequence, but this just shows you it as an example. The other wallet that we offer is MetaMask. So here is my MetaMask wallet that I've set up. I'm not gonna tell you how to set that up in this video. You'll be able to uh, find that in another video. But here we are, we're all set up. We've got our MetaMask wallet. We're connected to the Polygon network and we've loaded in our Matic. Now I can click on portfolio here from within the MetaMask uh, browser. It's gonna open up my portfolio. I can click across from tokens. You can see I've got my Matic token. I can click across to NFTs. Now here you'll see I've actually got my NFT. This is my Sunflower Land farm. Okay, so I've minted farm number 100,032. So I've got my farm. As long as you have this NFT in your wallet, whether it is your MetaMask wallet or whether it is your Sequence wallet, does not matter. As long as you have an active Sunflower Land Farm NFT, which costs $5 from the official website and will be available tomorrow, you can then come back here and connect your wallet. So let me go ahead and do that now. Let me just connect my MetaMask wallet with my NFT that I've just minted. And here we go. So you'll log into the game and the first thing it's going to tell you is that you're missing a bumpkin. Now, a bumpkin is your in-game character. The character, the in-game character is also an NFT. But this is slightly different because this is known as a PFP, a profile picture. You might have seen Instagram, you might have seen Twitter, you might have seen a lot of these social media websites talking now about profile pictures and PFPs. Well, you can now associate your NFT to your profile picture. But to do that, we first now need to go and mint our bumpkin. If you have a farm, your first bumpkin is free. You don't have to pay for it, which is great news. So we're just going to come over to the website to bumpkins.io and, and once we're here on this website bumpkins.io we need to mint an NFT. Okay so we click on that. I'm actually logged into the wrong account here so let me just log out of this one. We're going to connect to the right account. Here we go. Okay so now that I'm on the right account and I click mint an NFT it's going to ask me to access the website. So I need to sign in with my web free wallet. So I click on sign. My MetaMask wallet will pop up and it will ask me to sign a transaction. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click on sign. And that's it. Hasn't cost me anything. It's just proved that I own that wallet. Now it also um, asks me to mint a bumpkin. So if I go ahead and click mint a bumpkin, it says I am eligible for a free bumpkin. This is because it has recognized I have a farm NFT in my wallet. 
because I have that farm NFT, I can go ahead and mint my free bumpkin. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. I click on mint. I pay a very small gas fee, which is 17 cents in this instance. One thing you'll learn about blockchain technology is you pay gas, a transaction fee, every time you uh, have a transaction. Um, and that is paying the validators, which, again, we're not going to go too deep into this, but just so that you understand that you will need just a little bit of capital for gas or for your transaction fees. And that is on every uh, network at the moment. It's unavoidable, unfortunately. But we're going to go ahead now. We've minted our uh, free bumpkin. OK, so we're happy with that. We can now click on uh, bumpkins. We're going to just refresh the screen. And here we go. Here is our first bumpkin. So we have bumpkin number 23,522. That is how many bumpkins have been minted before. If I click on my bumpkin, you'll see that it, here he is. <laughs> uh, he has these items attached to him. So these are his boots. He's a farmer's pitchfork. He's got his overalls, his farmer's shirt. He's got the seashore background and the sunspots. Now, when you first mint your bumpkin, it will be randomly generated from a selection of assets. So you might get a different bumpkin. You might get a different hairstyle, different clothing. Uh, it'll be out of a selected pool. And so now I've got my bumpkin. I can come back to the website and I can refresh the game. Now I've got my bumpkin, so I should be able to play. I just need to connect my wallet and it will check I have both my farm NFT and my bumpkin NFT, which I have. And so now here we are, we're actually in the game and we are ready to play. You can actually see my bumpkin here in the top left hand corner. He's also on the farm here as well. And you'll see that he is exactly the same here as he is inside the game. If I was to click on my bumpkin, you'll see he is here. I can visit him by clicking on this button. If I click on this pop up, he even pops up above here as well. So there are lots of ways that you can see your character. Now, what is really interesting about Sunflower Land is that they are pushing boundaries of what is possible. A lot of NFT projects have been known for the way that they mint their profile pictures. Traditionally, there was around 10,000 NFTs that were minted with fixed rarities and whatever you got, you got. That was it. So if you minted your bumpkin, you were stuck with it. That was what you got. Now, we don't want to do that here at Sunflower Land. It's different. We want you to be able to customize your bumpkin as you see fit. And there are two ways that you can do this. The first is through the website itself. You can purchase or buy accessories to customize your bumpkin. And the second way is by playing the game. As you evolve and as you progress throughout Sunflower Land, you will unlock and achieve and acquire items for your bumpkin. So let's just have a quick look over on the bumpkin's website. If we click on collection here in the menu, here you will see all of these different items that are available, all of the different things that we can buy. So here I can buy any of these items if I so wanted to be able to do uh, different things and to change the way that it looked. Now, I would need to actually buy some SFL in order to do this. And I don't actually have any in this wallet that I'm using. So what I'm going to do now in this video is I'm just going to I'm going to transfer some SFL so that I can show you this process. So what I would need to do is I would need to go ahead and visit a different wallet that I have. I'm going to do that now. I would need to find some SFL that I have. And I would need to visit my Sunflowerland wallet. So what I'm going to do is go to my live wallet, go to my SFL. And I'm going to send myself to this wallet. I'm just going to send myself 50 SFL. That 50 SFL will be enough for me just to get started in the game. Now, SFL at the moment is approximately 10 to 12 cents, roughly, in value. 
So 50 SFL is approximately five dollars um, worth of uh, in-game asset. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer that to myself now. I can then go back to the wallet that I was using here. And here I will have new assets. So I have my Matic, but I will also now, if I go back to my portfolio, look at my tokens, and if I refresh this, I will have my Matic. Uh, might take just a, a moment to go through, but I also I will have my SFL. And so that will be here as well. So now what I can do, come back to the Bumpkin website, and let's actually give myself some hair. So if I click on this hair, I can see what it would look like. What would this look like inside the game? And do I want this hair? Maybe I don't want this hair. Maybe I want some different hair. Maybe I want some explorer hair instead. I can choose what I would prefer. Uh, maybe I want some blonde hair, a buzz cut, lots and lots of different options. As you scroll down, you'll see lots and lots of different things that you can buy. Some of them you can buy directly from the website, and some of them you will need to buy from a third party marketplace because only the community have these assets, meaning you have to buy them from another community member. So we're gonna go ahead here and we are going to uh, just grab some basic hair. I'm gonna mint this hair. Uh, I need to first, I need to approve my SFL. So this is a one-time thing just to approve. It costs one cent of Matic to do this. So we confirm. We approve this transaction. And now we can mint. So from my 50 SFL balance, I'm going to use 10 SFL to mint myself some hair. Now, if I go back to the portfolio app and refresh, this should hopefully, no, it's not showing up. I'd need to add it manually. It's not showing up. But that will now be in that wallet. So, okay. We come back here. We've minted our basic hair. So we now have this new NFT. If I come across here, here we go. We can now see we have Sunflower Land. We have our bumpkin. And we now have this hair NFT as well. The images aren't coming through yet, but they will in the near future. You can see that with the assets I hold and the tokens I hold, I've currently got um, 29 cents it's showing within here. I know there's a little bit more. Um, but for now, that's fine. That's all we need. So I come to my bumpkin, I come to my bumpkin, and I click on my bumpkin, and now I can actually change the hair between sunspots or basic hair. I can do this with the background, I can do this with the, um, the item they're holding, the boots, the top, all of these items I can change. Once I'm happy with my new bump bumpkin, I need to click save to blockchain. Once I click save to blockchain, what is happening is I confirm this. It's going to cost me eight cents of gas in my transaction fee. And what that is doing now is it is updating and saving this new look. So he went from this having no hair. If I now refresh, uh, let's just go back to my bumpkin. So he still currently looks like this. It normally takes about 30 seconds. And, and we can check here if I click on MetaMask. In fact, we just, we'll, go, we'll come to it here. So activity, there we go. We can see that's now worked. So if I come back and refresh, there we go. Now I've got my new bumpkin with his hair. That means if I was to come across to a, a website like here where I can see all of the details of my bumpkin. So let me go to OpenSea. OpenSea is a third party website. And if I go here and click on my profile, I'm going to be able to see the items that I have. These are the NFTs that I have in my wallet. Now you can see at the moment, my uh, NFT still looks like it did. Okay, it has his sunspots. Now, the reason he does that is because I need to refresh my metadata. So I can come across to this website, click on these three dots, and refresh my metadata. That means it's going to pull the latest metadata. And what we have done is we have updated that, meaning if I now refresh this, you'll see that it will go from having um, the sunspots here 
to now having basic hair. And there you go, it's updated. It normally takes about 30 seconds to a minute to do that. Now, what's really interesting now is if I come back to my farm. Now, look at my bumpkin in the top left. Okay, he has sunspots. Also, look at him inside the game and look at him if I click on him. There are three different places. I'm going to refresh my farm. Now, I've updated my metadata. We've seen that. We've confirmed it. So if I now refresh my game, you will now see I have hair. I have hair on my character. I have hair up here. And if I click, he has hair. And so your bumpkin is dynamic. It can evolve. You can customize it as much as you want on the website. You can buy whatever is available either through the website or from other people. And if there is something that you want which doesn't exist, you can even create it and have it added into the game. Now, don't worry if you're not a designer. Maybe you've just got a great idea. You can join our Discord community. We have hundreds of artists and contributors as we are an open source project. What that means is that if you were to go across to GitHub, GitHub is the developer platform that is used for Sunflower Land, and you can come into here into Sunflower Land, and you can see all of the information. So if I click on issues, these are all of the things being worked on. If you look at discussions, you can see all of the conversations going on between all of the different community members. And the beautiful thing about this is that it is open source, meaning we have hundreds of developers and designers all contributing to make this game what it is having hundreds of thousands of players managed in an open source way gives us a lot of power and flexibility to really customize this game based on what the community wants. And that's one of the reasons we've been so successful over this last 12 months. In fact, just today, we actually won an award for the best startup with the Australian blockchain um, awards program that happened today. The team are actually at that event right now. And they were able to win that award because of the effort, because of the communication, the transparency, the work, everything that we've put into building this game. Uh, we are one of the, in fact, we are the best. We are the number one game in the world on the Polygon blockchain. There is no other farming simulator game like what we are in the world at the moment in this space. And so we've learned a lot as we've progressed. And so it, it yes, it's a game, but it also is a community. And I, I do urge you um, to take some time from playing the game and visit that community, get to know that community. It, it is a, an incredible asset that goes alongside this game. And you can do that simply from joining the Discord channel if you, if you decided to. But so we've talked about bumpkins. We understand bumpkins. We've, we've got into our game. Now let's actually start to play. This is what you want to know. You want to know, how do I play this game? When you start on your farm, you're going to have free sunflowers. Okay, you can have a little look around. So let's just understand the navigation for a moment. As we look around, we can see in the top left, we have our bumpkin um, profile. Here we can see we have our farm. Up in the top right, we can see we have our balance. This is our SFL balance, our sunflower land token. Uh, you can see here we have a hammer, which is buildings. Uh, we'll go through that one in a moment. Uh, we have a basket here which is all of our items that we have. Uh, this is our quick item. So the last thing that we selected will be here. We have the ability to save and we have settings. We can click on settings, open up this, and we have some, um, some buttons here, including the ability that's coming soon to add some Matic if we want to into the game. So lots of really cool, exciting things um, that are going to continuously build out. So. 
Just to recap, we come into the game, we connect our web free wallet, we make sure we've got our farm, we make sure we've got our bumpkin, and then we're here and we are ready to go. So what do we do? How do we get started? Well, we want you to be able to start, and so we give you free sunflowers. What you will need to do when you first log into the game is you'll need to harvest these sunflowers. And this really introduces you to the first core game loop, which is about harvesting. And you'll see I've just acquired free sunflowers. I can then come across to the market and I can sell my free sunflowers. So one, two, three. OK, I do have a few other items in here. You obviously won't have these. Um, this is just for testing purposes. Uh, I did a video before this, and so I had a few items in here. But you obviously you won't have that. And so, in fact, just to make it nice and clean, let's just sell everything. Let's come back to the very beginning so we can sell all of these uh, items. There we go. We're going to sell them all. Everything's been sold. There we go. Now, we've actually got 0.34 SFL as a result of that. You might be thinking to yourself, but but Steve, you, you bought 50 SFL. Where, where is your SFL that you bought? Well, that would be a very good question. And the answer is that it is not in my farm. This farm has its own address. And if I click on my balance, you can see this address. This address is different to my MetaMask address. My MetaMask address ends in ED97. My farm address ends in 75F4. So what we would need to do is send our assets from our wallet into the game. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that now. So the first thing you would need to do is you would need to find the contract address. What is the contract address? And uh, what, what is it? How do I know? Like, don't worry. Don't worry. If you've got questions, we have documents. docs.sunflower-land.com. This will tell you everything you need to know about this game, about us, how to get started, everything you need to do, everything we've talked about, how to play the game, the web free wallets that we've talked about. There's even some video guides here, as well as all of the official links and things you need. And here you can see is the SFL contract address, which is under the official links. I'm going to go ahead and copy that address right now. I'm going to come up to my MetaMask, click on my assets. And if I don't see my token, if I refresh and my token's not there, I can import my token. It does say one new token's been found. It has actually found it for me automatically, so I can import it. I can click on one new token found and import all. And there we go, I've got it there. If that doesn't work, if that isn't available, you can click on import tokens and you can type in, if I go to custom token, put in a token address. It's already been added, but this would then add it for you. So there we go, we've got our 40 SFL, it's here. What I need to do is I need to send that 40 SFL into my farm. So I click up here on the top right hand corner. I copy my farm address. I come back to my MetaMask. I click on my 40 SFL and I send to that address, making sure that I check 75F4. 75F4 starts in 0x1, starts in 0x1. Great. Maybe I'll just do a test to start. I'll just send one. I'm actually confident, so I'm going to send everything, but you might want to do a test first. Okay, so we go next. We're going to send our SFL into our farm. That's $5.14 in total is the value of that SFL. Okay, we're now sending that into our farm. So that's gone from our wallet into our farm. Okay, let's go back now and let's refresh our game. So we're going to click refresh. We're going to log into the game again. Okay, so it's not showing up when we've refreshed. If that ever happens, you can just click on the settings tab in the bottom right. 
click on the three dots, and then you can click on settings, refresh, and you can force a manual refresh. Now you'll see my balance is there. Great, so now we've got 40 SFL. What can we do with this? Well, the first thing you're going to need to do when you start playing the game is you're going to need to do two things. The first is you're going to need to level up your bumpkin. If I click on my bumpkin, you'll see he is level one and he needs five experience. So I need to gain experience for my bumpkin. That's one thing I need to do. And the second thing here, you see this hammer, I need to upgrade and expand my land. So in order to expand my land, I need some resources, I need some wood and some stone, and I also need a bumpkin level three. So the first thing I need to do is upgrade my bumpkin to level three. So how do you upgrade your bumpkin? Well, you do that by eating food. Food, you'll see here as we uh, continue to explore our farm, can be accessed from the fire pit. The fire pit is a building that has been placed. You can click on it. And here you'll see there is some food. Now I can do mashed potato. Mashed potato gives me free experience and it requires 10 potatoes. Now there's other food as well. There's pumpkin soup. There's a pumpkin broth. We could have some boiled eggs, some kale stew and some mushroom soup. So different items that are available here inside the fire pit. But what you'll notice is if I click on the market, I don't actually have the ability right now to unlock all of these seeds. I have sunflower seeds and I have potato seeds. In order for me to unlock the pumpkin seeds, I need to have my pumpkin at level two. So I cannot move forward until I level up my pumpkin. So for the moment, because when you start, you might very well be starting the game with zero SFL. You might have zero. And if you do start the game with zero SFL, all you will have is your free sunflowers that you will have harvested. You'll come here, you'll sell your free sunflowers. So let's, let's just go back. Let's just go back to where we was here with our free sunflowers uh, that were ready to harvest. So sunflowers, as you can see, take one minute. They have a one minute timer. So we're going to let that one minute uh, timer finish. Uh, we can also, if we wanted to, we can click on the settings tab and you can see this little progress bar. We can actually turn these off. If we turn them off, it just cleans up the screen a little bit. We can hover over them to see the countdown. Um, but we can actually watch them grow now instead. It just cleans up the farm a little bit if we want to watch this. So we can just wait. We've got a little bit of time left. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for those, I want to explain to you the process as you're getting started. And this is the initial grind of the game. So I mentioned there are two core game loops. The first is going to be leveling up your bumpkin. To do that, you need food. So we're going to start with sunflowers. We have our free sunflowers. We're going to harvest those. And then we need to come back to the market and we need to sell them. If we sell all free sunflowers, we will get 0 0.0007 SFL. That will be enough for us to buy five sunflowers. Okay, so 0 0.0007, we do that. We can now buy these. We would be able to buy five of these. Okay, perfect. Now we can do this where we can actually put five down. And then a minute later, we would sell five and we would repeat that process until we had enough SFL saved up that we could afford some potato seeds. Now, because I have purchased um, some SFL, I can already go ahead and grab these potato seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy. 20 of them. See, I can do this because I have the SFL already. I can then go ahead and put these down. So I'm going to put these in the other spaces here. Now, if I go ahead and turn my timers back on, you'll see these take five min uh, four minutes. 
So we have four minutes right now. And it actually does say it should be five minutes, actually. Um, uh, that's a good question. I'll, I'll check in. Oh, no, it is five minutes. It just says four minutes because it's uh, four minutes and some seconds. So it's five minutes for the potatoes. I can now see that my sunflowers have uh, have just finished. So again, let's just turn off those timers. So here we go. My sunflowers are finished. So I'm going to finish them. I'm actually going to plant more potatoes. So what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm trying to get enough potatoes that I can make some mashed potato. It takes 10 potatoes to get free experience. I actually need five experience to level up. This means I need 20 potatoes. So your first initial goal when you're playing this game is going to be to get enough potatoes to be able to do this. Now, I don't necessarily want to have to wait to be able to do this. So I could, if I wanted to, actually go and buy some potatoes. You might be thinking to yourself, well, how do you do that? Well, the game is available for you to play. But some people don't necessarily enjoy the grind, and I don't want to wait for these, um, these early game loops. So we have a partner called Nifty Swap that we have worked with. Nifty Swap allows you to buy and sell NFTs. It is a marketplace. If we go there, you can actually see the Sunflower Land collection on niftyswap.io. I could actually come here. And I could purchase, if I wanted to, I could purchase some potatoes. I could go ahead and buy 20 potatoes. And it's going to cost me 0 0.06 SFL. Now, I actually don't have any SFL because, unfortunately, I sent it all to my farm. But I could go ahead and do this. Uh, it looks like it's going to take it out... Uh, in Matic, so I can go ahead and confirm. Transaction is now in process. So it's going to take it out in Matic and it's going to give me 20 potatoes. Now, this way we can actually bypass those timers and, and kind of get a bit of a head start. Now, not everybody's going to want to do that, and I appreciate that. So I just want to show you the process and how it works. So now we've done this. In the future, you'll actually be able to come to your inventory and you'll be able to send these items from your farm. Oh, I actually I've just realized I'm actually connected to the wrong wallet. I'm actually connected to a different wallet here, not the one I wanted to. So um, I've, I'm, I'm going to send here. I've got these. Uh, <laughs> I've got these here. Uh, I want to be able to send these to another farm. So. How do I do that at the moment? Well, I'm going to come across to OpenSea, which is the other website that we were using before. I'm going to click on the profile, but I'm actually going to load. Uh, I'm going to load my other wallet at the moment, the one that actually has those items in it. So while I do that, OK, we should be able to see here. There we go. I've got my 20 potatoes that I've just purchased. OK. There's actually 10.9 million potatoes in circulation. Quite a lot uh, with the community that are using them. I'm going to come back to my uh, farm now. Uh, I actually need to go back to my other farm. So just bear with me while I do this. I apologize. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm... Uh, this is actually uh, my farm, uh, which you don't want to be looking at this one. This is a bit more evolved. So let's let's get back to the start of where we were. Not Not jump too far ahead for the purpose of this video. All right, so uh, we've got our potatoes. Uh, still got 34 seconds left on some of these. But what I want to do is I want to get this address. I want to copy this farm address. Okay, in doing so, in doing so, I can come back to OpenSea. I can make sure that I've got the right of wallet connected here. So uh, I'm going to go back to this live wallet and I'm going to transfer. I click transfer. I'm going to send all 20 potatoes to my farm address. And it's no different to how I sent the other um, SFL that I did. But this time I'm going to be sending NFTs. 
I'm going to be sending potato NFTs to my farm. Now, it's very, very important that you only send SFL and in-game assets. Do not send your bumpkin items. Do not send Matic. Do not send anything else to that farm. You will lose it. And it does say that when you're inside the game, it says very clearly to please make sure. We're just going to go through here so I can show you. Your account in Sunflower Land has its own wallet address, which you can send SFL tokens or SFL collectibles. Okay, so you can do it from a marketplace like OpenSea or Nifty Swap, but always double check the address. Make sure that you only send these two. Do not send Matic, Bumpkin Items, or any other non-SFL token. You will lose it. Very important. If you see these pop-ups, they are very, very important. Please uh, take note. All right, so now let's click in my wallet. I've got seven seeds at the moment that we can see. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go back to the settings and refresh our farm. Now let's come back here, and now you can see we've got 20 potatoes. So those 20 potatoes that we purchased are now here. We can come up to the fire pit, and we can now start cooking. Great. Also, I've got another, another 13 potatoes. So I can click on my market, and I can sell three of them. So let's go ahead and just sell three of them. We can also sell our five sunflowers. We don't need those. So we now have 20 potatoes. Great. That's everything that we need so far. All right, cool. Now, you might see here that we cannot, we cannot use pumpkin seeds at the moment. We don't have them. They're not unlocked. So if you do want some of these items, you could go and buy them in advance and send them to yourself. you would then be able to use them even if you hadn't unlocked them. So here we go, look, we can see in progress here, we've got eight seconds left, the, sh uh, left. the chef is busy. It takes one minute to cook our mashed potato. That is gonna give us free experience. And there we go, it's ready. There's a little exclamation mark above our fire pit. We click on that and we've got one mashed potato. Let's go ahead and cook again. All right, so now you can see he's cooking, away he goes. We want to be productive whilst we're waiting. So we've got seven uh, potato seeds. What we're gonna do right now is we're just going to, uh, we're gonna plant those. We don't wanna waste them. All right, so there's our seven seeds down and our mashed potato, which has 35 seconds left. So the idea inside the game is you need to make choices. You need to make decisions. You need to decide, well, what am I going to, what am I going to farm? Whilst I'm farming, what am I going to cook? Am I going to sell my crops or am I going to use them for food? Am I going to generate SFL that I can sell or am I going to level up my bumpkin? Am I going to level up my bumpkin or am I going to expand my land? In order to expand my land, you'll see if I click on the hammer, I actually need another, another building, which is the workbench. Now, I cannot put the workbench down until I am level three, which means I need to continue feeding my bumpkin to get to level three. I click here. I've got another, uh, some more mashed potato. Now, I can actually do some more. I don't actually have any pumpkins at the moment. Pumpkins are what I'm going to need next. So we're going to go ahead and cook some more mashed potato. Remember, if I click up on the top left, it shows me I need five experience. Well, now I can click on my bumpkin. If I click on my bumpkin, I can feed my bumpkin. And I have two portions of mashed potato. My life is potato. I can eat this and I will, as you see here, I will lose one mashed potato, but I will gain free experience. I now have my free XP. You can see the green bar here shows how full it is. And also you can see here, also what level my bumpkin is. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. And that's it, we've just leveled up. So now we are level two. You'll see an exclamation point above the bumpkin now. 
if I click on this, you'll see I have skill points. Skill points are points that can be added to certain skill trees to give you boosts and bonuses. If I click on crops, I can actually get the green thumb. This will give crops 5% more yield. Maybe I want to look at cooking, which will cook meals 10% faster. There's lots of different things that you can explore, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the cooking because leveling up my bumpkin is quite important to me. So I'm going to go ahead and claim my skill. And yes, I'm sure. So there we go. Now my meals will cook 10% faster. I've also got some more mashed potato. I can go ahead and feed my bumpkin. And again, you can see I've started to level up. But now I need 65 experience. 65 experience, going to take a little bit of time. I actually now need what is going to be 30 pumpkins in order to do the next, uh, the next thing. So I don't actually want to wait for 30 pumpkins. That's going to take some time because pumpkins, now I've unlocked these new seeds, pumpkins take 30 minutes. So even though I could do six here, so let me just go ahead and I'll buy five five pumpkin seeds I place them down and if you look at the timer 30 minutes for those now that's quite a bit of time and i don't want to waste that time with you on the video today so we're going to go back ahead to nifty swap and i know in nifty swap we've already got our pumpkins so if i go back to open sea okay i've got my farm address so that's okay if i just swap wallets and go back to my other wallet I should here somewhere be able to find, I'm going to have to search through. I've got quite a lot of stuff in this wallet. So bear with me as I, as I go through and, and, and look at all of these items. I'm looking for some pumpkins. Here we go. I've got 10,000 10, pumpkins sitting in this account. Now, I don't want to send all 10,000. That would be crazy. I just need 30. I only need 30 right now. So I'm going to transfer myself 30 pumpkins to that address to allow me to be able to uh, level up to level three. All right, so I go ahead and I confirm. Again, please check that the address is correct. Do a test if you're not sure. I've been doing this for years, so I'm very comfortable. But for you getting started, if you're very new to this, please take your time. And if need be, refer back to the documents. Go back, check through the documents. Everything will be there to help you get started. All right, so. We're now going back to our farm. Again, we're not going to look at this farm. This farm is far too busy and crazy. Um, we're going to go back to our nice, clean, sane farm that doesn't look so crazy at the moment. Here we go. And we're going to click on the bottom right hand corner, the three dots, settings, and refresh. Now, if we go to our inventory, we've got our 30 pumpkins. Perfect. Click up on our fire pit. We can go to our pumpkin soup and we can cook. Now it should take three minutes, but as you can see, it's only gonna take two minutes and 42 seconds. It's because we have our 10%, um, which is our bonus from our skill point. So we are still gonna have to wait for this. There's nothing we can do to avoid this. We're gonna have to wait for our three minutes, um, but that is going to allow us in doing that uh, let's just also turn these timers back on. Here we go. We can uh, harvest our potatoes. Um, we can't cook anything else while we're waiting. We have to wait for that. But we can come and we can sell these potatoes. So that's great. Okay. So now you can see we've got about the same amount of SFL that we started with. But now we're starting to progress. We're starting to evolve. Now... In order for us to get our bumpkin to level three, we need to do this three times. So this is a good opportunity whilst we wait for our food to cook, because that's gonna take a few minutes, for me just to explain the second core game loop. So we understand cooking and we understand how cooking works. But as you can see, you don't really have much land. You're going to need more land as you continue to play. And in order to expand your land, you're going to need to start farming resources. 
In order to do that, you will need to click on the hammer icon in the top right hand corner and you're going to need to put down a workbench. A workbench will allow you to craft tools. You'll need a little bit of SFL and it will take one minute to build. But the main requirement is a level three bumpkin, which is why we need this food. And that is why we're doing this right now. Once you have that workbench down, you'll be able to craft a hatchet or an axe. You'll be able to use that axe to chop down these trees. When you chop down these trees, they'll give you wood. The wood can then be used. You can go back to your workbench and you can use your wood to, uh, with a bit more SFL, to make a pickaxe. And the pickaxe can be used to mine the stone. You have three trees and two stone uh, resource nodes. And if I click on my upgrade, I need a level three bumpkin, I need 10 wood, and I need five stone. So those are the things that I'm going to need. Now I can see here, look, my food is ready. And so here we go, I can go again. I'm gonna go ahead and feed my bumpkin. And look at that, 24 experience. So we just need to do that two more times and we will be at level three. This is the initial core game loop. It's going to take you about an hour if you're just playing the game to be able to get to this stage. This is the, the hardest part, is when you're starting out, you don't really have many resources, you don't really have much available to you. So this is where you have the choice. You can either invest some money to speed up this process, or if you don't want to invest any money, which is understandable, then you need to invest your time. So either time or money to be able to get you to level three. But the one thing that you cannot bypass you cannot bypass the experience. There is no way to buy the experience. You can buy the ingredients, but you still need to cook those items and you'll still need to feed them to your bumpkin. Now, there is a way, if you went into the marketplace, people will be selling their bumpkins. You can check the level of a bumpkin and if you didn't want to mint a bumpkin from the official website, you could go on to OpenSea. And we've, we've talked about OpenSea already. Uh, you can go on to OpenSea and you can actually look, if I go into my profile right now, click on my bumpkin, I can look at all of the bumpkins that are currently available. All of the bumpkins. And at the moment, there are 20,000 bumpkins. I can click on any of these bumpkins and I can see the information around them. Now there'll be some more details that will come available in time, but you will be able to see what level the bumpkin is. That's one of the uh, properties that will be available. What level is your bumpkin? Now that will allow you to see if you want to purchase this bumpkin. See, one of the things you can do in this game is that you can evolve your bumpkin and then you can sell it. That way, people that don't want to put in the hard work and don't want to spend the time, they can just go into the marketplace and buy a bumpkin. So you can actually get paid for your time by doing something that somebody else doesn't want to do. That is value. It is a service. And you should get paid for that if you want to. It is one of the ways that you can take the ownership of your NFT. You can sell that NFT. For somebody who would want to buy it and you'll be able to see that inside the um, the bumpkins if I go back here uh, we can check out the analytics and you'll see you'll see that there's been um, if we just look in the last seven days 228 sales and so you can see even an hour ago so a bumpkin sold an hour ago three three four four five hours ago six hours ago you can see all the bumpkins that have been sold and all the bumpkins that are listed. And so we can see right now, we have somewhere in the region of between five and seven and a half thousand dollars worth of trading volume. 
uh, with uh, the floor price being at somewhere in the region of about three dollars, and uh, that is about one percent of the uh, total supply listed. All right, let's go back to Sunflower Land. Let's have a look at our farm. Okay, we're almost ready now. We're going to cook our last one. We're going to feed that again. So now we're almost there. And so that's one thing that you could do is you could um, level up your bumpkins and then you could sell them to people that don't want to go through this. And so as new players start to come into the game and new people start to play this game, what you'll realize is that some people will want to play this game and, and, and enjoy it. Other people want a bit of a head start, but in order for them to get that head start, they'll have to buy it from an existing player. And so that's one of the things that you can do. Now, with that being said, uh, the idea is not obviously to flip bumpkins. That's not the purpose here. The idea is that you have your bumpkin. We want you to connect to your bumpkin. We really want your bumpkin to be like your pet in a way, you know, your in-game character. We want you to connect to that person and customize them. So they are a digital representation of you in this pixel world. With that being said, uh, we hope that your main bumpkin will stay with you for a very, very long time with your farm. And I like to talk about the nostalgia of some of the old games that we used to play. When I was brought up on games, I was brought up on games like Contra, Dizzy, Lemmings, um, lots of incredible games that when I look back now, even games like GoldenEye, 007, Striker, um, some of these really old games, Mario Kart 64, I think back with really fond memories, really, really fond memories of how much I loved playing these games. Even my first kind of MOBA, things like uh, Command and Conquer Red Alert. You know, before I started playing games like Dota, Call of Duty and things like that. And I, I like a lot of different games. I am a gamer. And so this is a different style game. This is, you know, it's not quite like Settlers or uh, Anon like 1800. There's a lot of games out there, SimCity, things like that. This is a farming simulator. Uh, it is the ability for you to be able to craft, build. There's going to be lots of things you can do here. But the idea is... What the team would really love is that if you were to look back in 10 or 20 years time, we would love for you to have fond, nostalgic memories of Sunflower Land being one of the first web free games that you played. And having something like this, we feel, is what drives us to keep building and to keep innovating alongside the open source community. OK, here we go. Our food is now ready. We're going to go ahead and feed our bumpkin. And there we go. We're level three. So now we click up here. We've got another skill point. Let's go back to the cooking. Now I can't do anything here because I need two skill points for my next skill. But this would give me an extra 5% experience. In fact, let's just look down here. This one earns an additional 5% SFL. And this one gives me an extra 15% experience. So lots of things you can do here. In the crops, I get an extra 5% yield. I'm just going to hold on to that point right now. I'm going to finish, finish my cooking first. So now that I'm level three, I can come across to my hammer. I've got my workbench. I need a little bit of SFL, but I can go ahead and click on build. So now what this is going to do, and this is the first time you'll see this, is I'm now in the building menu. So we have a drag and drop builder. You can see all of the squares that are not available are red which means you can see where you can place this. If you put it somewhere where you can't place it, the, um, the check mark, the green check mark will be uh, grayed out. So you have to find a location where this can go. And I'm gonna put him right here. This is my blacksmith. Or maybe down here, maybe up here, maybe down here. Maybe I'll put him down here. Or maybe up here. No, he's going down here. Okay, so here he is. Now I click on the OK, and this is going to take one minute. So in one minute time, I will have myself a blacksmith. We're at level three. Also now, if I have a look, I've got some more seeds available. I've got cabbage seeds and beetroot seeds. So let's have a look at what food I can now do. So here we can see carrots and cabbages. 
Carrots and cabbages are going to give me not, uh, 96 experience for 18 minutes. This one's three minutes, but it gives me 24 experience. So three minutes or 18 minutes. 24 experience or 96 experience. I want to get my carrots and my cabbages. So I need 10 carrots. I need five cabbages. Hmm. Quite a lot. I also need to expand my land. I need some wood and I need some stone. Some of the things I'm going to need to be able to expand my land. So what we're going to do is just wait for this. Here we go. Here's our new building. We can now click on this. And now you'll see that for some SFL, I can craft an axe. So I'm going to go ahead now and craft three axes. Now, I cannot craft a pickaxe because I need wood. I don't have enough wood. So what I need to do is take my axes. So I've harvested my food, sold my, my crops for SFL, and then I have to make a decision. Do I turn those crops into food or do I sell those crops to buy tools? And this is one of the first decisions you need to make to balance feeding your bumpkin and also harvesting your resources. As you start to grow and evolve, you'll start to have more choices. But these choices right now are quite basic. So we're going to just go ahead and chop down these three trees. We've got our axe highlighted. It takes three chops. If you move in the middle of chopping, it resets. I can do this and chop as many times as I want. But three successful chops. And I've got one wood. So now you can see my tree has disappeared. And this will recover in two hours. Which means I now have a two hour window before I can get any more wood. Also one wood. And again, one wood. If I go to my inventory now, you'll see I've got three wood. Now, what I'm going to need, if I come back to my, uh, my blacksmith, is I'm going to need five wood to get one pickaxe. One pickaxe with some SFL and some wood is going to allow me to mine some stone. I have two stone nodes. Now, once I've done that with my stone, remember, I need to get five stone. Once I have my five stone, I will then need 10 wood. So I'm actually going to need more than 10 wood. I'm actually going to need 25 wood just to be able to buy. Um, well, maybe not, actually, because I'm going to need. How many do I need? I'm going to get one stone from each of these. I need five stone, which means I'm going to need five pickaxes. So actually, that's 25 wood plus the wood that I'm going to need to upgrade is 35 wood. 35 wood is what I'm going to need. All right. So what is it going to cost me to get 35 wood? Well, that's going to cost me 35 axes. 35 axes is going to cost me what well, you can see somewhere in the region of about 0 0.20 SFL. So um, 0.20 SFL. So less than one, which is good. And as I said, one SFL at the moment is about 12 cents. So you might want to just go ahead and bypass this. You're welcome to if you want to. What I'm going to do for the purpose of this video is I'm going to go back to my other farm. So here we go. I'm going to copy this farm address. I'm going to go back across to OpenSea again, trusted OpenSea. And I'm going to make sure I'm in my right farm here. And I'm going to find some resources. So I said I needed some wood. So let's just uh, scroll down, see if we can find ourselves some wood. I'm sure I've got some. I might not actually. Might not be any wood here. In fact, oh, I've got four wood. Not quite enough. All right, what else do I have here? And that's iron as well. That's actually not going to be very helpful. All right, so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do it here. But what you'll need to do for the purpose of this, um, I, I suppose I could. 
no, I'm not going to do it. I was going to, if if I was a little bit more prepared, I would have had those resources ready. I would have had them there to make this a lot easier. You're unfortunately just going to have to figure out what the expansion looks like yourself by getting to that point. What you will do is you'll have the resources, you'll click the expand button. It will take two minutes and you'll get your new land and you can continue that process. So as you scale out, you'll first do this land, then one to the left, then down, and a bit like a snail, it will start to spiral out to get bigger and bigger. At the moment, in this current version, you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven plots of land in total. So you can scale all the way around up to here right now. More will become available very soon and you will continue to evolve. So that's everything that you need to know right now about your farm. But the farm's only the start of the game. Sunflower Isles, which is what this release is called, is about the island mentality. What this means is that you have a boat and you can use that boat to visit different islands. So let's just go ahead and leave our farm for a moment. We can't do anything else here at the moment in terms of our resources. We need to wait for our trees to grow back. So whilst we're waiting for our trees to go back, it makes sense to farm some more crops. So what do we need now to be able to level up? Well, the next thing for us is going to be carrots and cabbages. That makes the most sense. So we can see here car uh, carrots here. So I'm going to go ahead and buy 10 carrots and 10 cabbages. Now that's cost me quite a bit of SFL, as you can see. But if I look at what I need, I need five cabbages. Okay, great. So let's plant five cabbages. One, two, three, four, five. They take an hour each. We also need our carrots. We're going to do three carrots. They also take an hour each. Well, actually, sorry, cabbages take two hours. Sorry. So carrots take one hour and cabbages take two hours. So the cabbages will be the same time as the trees. So now what you can start to do is you can start to think, well, okay, so I've done everything I can do right now. I'll come back in two hours. And this is where quite a lot of people in the community set timers and alarms. Your phone will become overrun with timers to check your crops. It becomes becomes quite addictive I'll, I'll tell you a lot of people have said the same thing but that's the beauty and the fun of this game you can pick it up and put it down you can play it on your mobile phone you can play it on your computer you have the freedom so you're not tied into a game that you have to sit and grind for hours and hours at a time now what we can do whilst we're waiting because we've done everything that we can do at this stage we can click on our boat if i click on the boat You'll see here, it brings up a navigation menu. This navigation menu allows us to travel. So I'm just gonna bring this into full screen here. And if I click on the boat, you can see we're currently home. Now, we can travel to a place called Helios. Helios is the only place at the moment that we can travel to. In the future, we'll be able to go to the Goblin Retreat. But for that, we need our bumpkin to be level five. So one of the initial goals that you should really be focusing towards is getting your bumpkin to level five. Getting to the goblin retreat is quite a big step and something you're going to want to do as soon as you can, as soon as possible. But for now, let's go across to Helios. So now we're on Helios. This is our new land. You'll see there's quite a lot going on here. New buildings, new things to look at, uh, new stuff going on. So let's have a little, a little explore. Uh, anything that can be interacted with will have a white border around it. So we can come down here. And this is the community garden. The community garden offers NFTs that are built entirely by the community. You can only use the SFL that is in your personal wallet not that is in your farm's wallet. The Sunflowerland team does not maintain or support these features, but we can go to this community garden. Now, at the moment, there is one project here. That project is called Project Dignity. 
Project Dignity is made up of four members. We have D, we have VP, Polaris, and Tiffany, and they have built Frog. Within Frogs, they also have tadpoles, and they've just launched seals. So you'll be able to learn all about this on their website, uh, and you can check them out through this island. They've also built a really cool little mini game that you can play. You just click Start. And you can play the Greedy Goblin. See how many SFL uh, you can attack from your Goblin. Just make sure that you don't miss any or collect any of these skull. Collect the skull, you'll lose. The coin drops, you'll lose. Fun little side game. So these are all of the kind of things that are being built. And there's a lot more being built at the moment by the community. Uh, but we're going to go back to Helios right now and continue to look around. So here, this is the Potion Master. He needs some time to set up his shop. We have some decorations. You can buy some white tulips, some potted sunflowers. This would need 100 sunflowers. Uh, so this would need 200 potatoes, 200 pumpkins, 0.25 SFL, or 0.65 SFL for a bear. So lots of things that you can buy here. These are magic beans. You can buy some uh, magic beans. We've got magic. We've got shiny golden beans. You have to learn about what they do later on. Okay, we've got another building here, but we need to be patient. It's not ready yet. We've got the grub shop. Now, the grub shop's a really important building because you might want to come here. The reason you might want to come here is every day this updates, and it's different for everybody. But you'll have items in the grub shop that you can sell to gain SFL. Here we can get some mashed potatoes, a cauliflower burger, a cauliflower cake, or some boiled eggs. Now, if I was to sell a cauliflower cake, I would make 12 SFL. In order to make that, I need to get a bakery. Bakeries are another building. And as you can see, in order to get there, I need to be level 11. Level 11. So quite a long way to go. Water well to get more crops, the kitchen for more food, the tent so you can have multiple bumpkins, the hen house so you can start with animals. This will be your introduction to chickens, the bakery, the deli, and at the moment that's enough to get you started. There's also some quests that will start to go on in the future. So my father has sent me here to rule over Helios. Unfortunately, these bumpkins don't like me watching them. I can't wait to return to some Floria. So if we go back to the boat and have a look, you'll see we have Sun Floria, but you need to be level 30 to be able to visit. You need to be level 50 to be able to visit the Snow Kingdom. So lots of things to be able to work towards with a lot more coming. So at the moment, that is all we can do. We can just plant our seeds, harvest our crops, farm our resources, cook our food, level up our bumpkin, expand our land. That is what we need to focus on to get started in the game. Once you have evolved to the point where you can visit the Goblin Retreat, then you can start to learn a lot more about the crypto side of things. But for now, this is where I'm going to leave you on our adventure. And it's time for you to embark on your journey inside Sunflower Land, and I wish you all the best, and I'm looking forward to seeing your farms. Take care, have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon. Remember, come into the Discord if you've got any questions, or you just want to share your farm. I'll be looking forward to introducing you into the community.